People have been hunting for sun-grazing comets for hundreds of years, but as of 1979, we only knew of less than a dozen. Today, we have seen about 2,500. Why did the number increase? Understanding this starts with the Kreutz path. In the late 1800s, Heinrich Kreutz observed that many recent comets traveling near the sun appear to follow the same orbit. On this Kreutz path, as we've come to call it, it takes a comet about 800 years to complete one loop around the sun. While there are other orbits of sun grazers, Kreutz comets are the most common. All of the comets in this orbit came from a single comet observed thousands of years ago. As the comet moved closer to the sun, the ice binding it together evaporated, breaking it into smaller pieces that the sun's gravity pulled apart. Every time the comet comes around the Kreutz path, this can happen again, resulting in a new generation of comets. It might sound like this would clutter the solar system full of comets, but that is not the case. Some of the new comets are small enough that they become completely vaporized as they approach the sun. There are more comets observed, not because there are more in the solar system, but because we have better ways to see them. Spotting a sun grazer from the ground is difficult because of the blinding sunlight. Now, spacecraft designed to observe the sun make the job a lot easier. Since the joint ESA-NASA mission SOHO launched in 1995, it has shown us thousands more comets than any tool before. To date, it has found 2,387 comets. With SOHO, we can now see the smaller, fainter comets close to the sun, just long enough to add them to our list of sun grazers before they vaporize. The spacecraft's data is available online, so now anyone can discover a comet. Roughly 75% of these comets have been found by amateur astronomers. Other solar observatories, such as NASA's SDO, weren't expected to provide good comet observations, but they captured some beautiful images, creating more possibilities for comet research using unexpected tools. Now that we can observe comets better than ever, who knows, maybe you will spot the next sun grazer.